Governor Mimiko pointed out that cocoa, as one of the oldest cash crops in the country, has contributed immensely to the growth and development of the country's economy. Governor Mimiko added that cocoa is still a major contributor to the nation's gross domestic product, GDP. While emphasizing the need for government to revamp other cocoa plantations to further enhance the socio-economic development of Ondo State, Governor Mimiko disclosed that his administration had made concerted efforts to set up a committee on cocoa revolution which has started to yield the desired results. Governor Mimiko noted that revolutionizing cocoa production should cut across the whole cocoa value chain ranging from production through marketing to processing. And we thought that for our farmers to actually be exposed directly to international markets and to have choice marketing, we said we will put together a cocoa commodity exchange with marketing. Of course, that is on track. The third leg is for us to cease being exporter of raw beans, to actually process, add value and produce the end product of cocoa, which is chocolate. These are the three legs of our revolution. I can also tell you that a lot of progress has been made. The governor promised to provide portable water, six blocks of classroom, and other social amenities for the farmers to make life more meaningful for them. The understate government has proposed to establish a chocolate industry in some parts of the state as the production of cocoa continues to thrive in the state. Patience, O. Saugiwa, reporting.